Good morning everyone. This is Aaron. Welcome back to another video on OTBI for beginners. I hope uh, you and your family are staying safe and healthy. I know these are difficult times, so uh, my prayers are with uh, everyone. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to create an OTB analysis which has master detail um, event listener. Or to be more specific, you have two analysis uh, or two views rather, and you have a master view and a detail view. And based on the way you interact with the master view, the uh, data in the detail view is going to change. So as you can see on the screen, I have a bar chart and a tabular view. And if I click on, you can see that here it's payment terms net 60 and everything that belongs to that payment terms is displayed in the table. If I click on, let's say, payment terms net 30, which is this bar, you can see that that changes. So uh, the user can click on one of these bars and the corresponding detail view is going to change based on the interaction. So let's go ahead and um, see how we can do this. All right, I'm gonna create a new analysis. Um, or maybe I'll use the existing one. Uh, so I'm gonna use the master detail one that I created. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna remove all the views and then we will start from the scratch. All right, let me go ahead and remove the views. All the views are gone. I'm gonna remove the views from here. Here. All right. So let me go back to the criteria tab. So what I have here is invoice number. Um, again, I'm using payables, invoices, transactions, real time. But you can see that I have invoice number, description, date, type name. Um, you know, you can delete the type name, just create the invoice number, even the description is not needed. So we have invoice number, date, supplier name, uh, invoice amount, and the payment terms name. All right, let me save this as a different uh, analysis. Click OK. All right, so we have the um, columns and let's go to the results. So if you're creating uh, your analysis, uh, you're going to get a table by default. But since I deleted my views, I have to go ahead and uh, create one. So I'm going to say a table. All right, so now you have you know, payment terms, the supplier name, invoice date, invoice number, and the invoice amount. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, create a bar chart. So let me go ahead and create graph bar. The default is fine. Uh, you're gonna get this error, so don't worry about it. If you get this error, just go back to the criteria tab, come back to the results tab, and in the views section, you're gonna see the table and the graph. The table is the tabular view. The graph is the bar chart so you won't be able to edit it here but you can click on this graph uh, view here and then click on edit and we just have to move around certain things all right so i'm going to exclude all this uh, the invoice number and the invoice date goes to the excluded section we want the bars to be invoice amount and i don't want the supplier or party name here i'm going to exclude that all right so i want this to be um, payment terms name, right? So group by, and I also want the um, color to be different. So I'll just um, move the payment terms name to the uh, section which is called as vary color by horizontal axis, right? So based on the payment terms name, it's gonna vary the color of the bar as well. All right, so that's fine. So we have a bar chart, click on done. All right, so we have a bar chart and we have a tabular view. Let me move the table uh, bar chart to the left and you have the table view here. I want to do one change here on the tabular view. So let's go ahead and edit that. I'm going to move the payment terms name to table prompts, right? So this way it's filtering by the payment terms name, right? So you can actually see all of the invoices belonging to that specific um, payment terms name. Click done. 
So my idea is when I click on a bar, so this this these bars are based on the payment terms name, right? So when I click on one of the bars, I want this filter to be applied to the detailed analysis. So if I click on net 45, the filter should change to uh, net 45, right? Okay, so let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to go back to the criteria tab. Uh, for payment terms, name, column, properties. Navigate to interaction tab. And I've also already created, so when you come here, it's going to be default drill. Let's change that to send master detail events. And you have to specify a channel name. So I'm going to give terms name and click OK. Now in the results tab, for the table view, click on view properties and enable this listen to master detail events option. All right. And then you have to give the channel name. So this is the channel name that we provided in the interactions tab. So give that name here, whatever name that you gave. And click OK. So now what's going to happen is the detail view is going to um, is going to listen for an event on the master view. Right. So if I you can see that here. This is net 30, right? So this is 2 by 10 net 30. So if I click on net 30, it's going to change to net 30 here. So it's as easy as, um, you know, um, enabling the interaction to send master detail events on in the detail uh, view. You just select uh, the uh, listen to master detail events and specify the channel name. So that was pretty easy to do. All right. <clears throat> you can have a pie chart. So if I... And instead of a bar chart, I can have a pie chart. So let me create a pie chart. Again, you're going to get this error. Don't worry about it. Go back to the criteria tab. Come back to the cells tab. And click on edit. Exclude this. And I'm going to exclude this. All right so th same thing uh, so net 30 here so this is immediate right so if I click on let me move this down so and let me move this up here alright so you can click on immediate and you'll see that changes that's pretty cool right so you can have different bar, a different bar chart, uh, graphical view, and then when you click on one of these sections, it's gonna filter the detail view based on the interaction that you did on the graphical view. All right, that's all I wanted to show you today, and this is the last video on OTB analysis. Uh, next video, we're gonna take a look at the basics of dashboards, and uh, probably have two to three videos explaining dashboards and creating some simple dashboards and also then going into more details like how can you have dashboard prompts across um, you know how can you have different tabs um, and prompts for one tab multiple tabs those kind of things I'll also try to explain how you can embed uh, BA publisher report um, into the uh, OTBI dashboard and the last last section I want to do is on uh, infolet but uh, uh, that's all coming Hopefully I'll have it in the next uh, four weeks. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for OTPI dashboards um, videos. So I have it in mind. It's in it's in the plan. It's just that I'm having a lot of work. And um, uh, because of the time crunch, I'm unable to spend time uh, creating videos for you guys. All right. Um, that's all I had for today. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on Oracle ERP Cloud and HCM, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, the other thing was uh, we do have a podcast now. It's called Oracle Cloud Byte. Uh, it's available on Google Podcast and also on Spotify. Um, so and if you want to hear um, myself and my friend Ankur uh, talking about uh, ERP Cloud, HCM, EPM in general um, and what's new, what's exciting, our experience, um, how you can learn more things um, 
how you can navigate your path um, in terms of uh, moving from a junior resource to senior and all the other things related to these technologies. So if you're interested in hearing those, uh, make sure to check for the podcast Oracle Cloud Byte on Google Podcast and Spotify. All right. I wish you all have a good weekend. Once again, um, I know it's a hard time for everyone. Um, uh, I pray for everyone to keep you and your family safe. Um, so I will uh, talk to you in the next one. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.